What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it's time to continue our 2023 college football predictions for the 2023 college football season. Up next it's the TCU Horn Frogs, a team coming off a really big surprising season last year. Uh, one of the most surprised teams I think in all of college football last year going undefeated and heading to the college football playoff last season as well to the Big 12 championship game as well. It lost a pretty tough one, though, to Georgia. Got blown out in that game. Uh, looking at this TCU team heading into 2023. New quarterback. Um, they're going to have um, a new quarterback this year. Max Duggan is gone to the NFL. They also lose plenty of talent on the offensive side of the football. Defense looks pretty solid, though. They do return a lot of production on that side of the football. But the question is, does TCU have the talent to compete here with the Big 12 teams? I know last year was just maybe like a fluke. Maybe they were just that good. But maybe this year, maybe they're kind of have a step back year. So let's get right to the schedule here for TCU. And here's the schedule, again, coming off a 13-2 season last year. Definitely one of the most surprised teams. Uh, you look at this schedule, they do play Colorado in the non-conference. They'll play Nichols as well and also SMU. Uh, that's a home game there. So they do get three non-conference games here. And they do play um, some newcomers here in the Big 12. They do play about um, one of those newcomers in the Big 12. They play BYU here. So, yeah, that's the only newcomer. Or actually, they, they have played two newcomers. They play Houston and BYU. So they get two newcomers in the Big 12. But let's go game by game here and give you an official prediction for this TCU team. So a big non-conference game here to start out the year on September the 2nd against Colorado, a team that's getting a lot of hype heading into the 2023. Uh, Coach Sanders now over there. This could be a very interesting game to kick off the year for TCU. It is a home game, though, for the Horn Frogs. I mean, last year it was at Colorado. Uh, TCU blew them out, so I'm kind of expecting this game to you know, be a lot closer than it was last year. Colorado should definitely compete in this game, but... It's a tough one to call for me with home field advantage. Um, with that being said, home field advantage does favor TCU in this one. With that being said, I'm going to go with the Horned Frogs here to knock off Colorado here in the first game in week number one. Big non-conference game, though, in that matchup. Then they take care of business here against Nicole University. I really haven't heard about that team there. So I got TCU starting out 2-0. Then they'll play Houston on the road after that to open up Big 12 play on September the 16th. Uh, Houston's got a lot of question marks, but this is a pretty tough game for me. I mean, especially when, when TCU lost that production they had from last year. I mean, you're talking about a TCU team that's going to be really young on offense, and it's really going to take time for them to really, you know, get that offense going. So I'm kind of expecting TCU to kind of struggle in this game. And also, it is a road game. So with that being said, obviously a 50-50 game for me to call here. I'm going to go with Houston here to knock off TCU. I think the Cougars get the win there against the Horned Frogs here. And I got TCU losing their first game of the year. But then they get a win here against SMU. That won't be an easy game there against the, um, SMU. But I think um, TCU will beat them there. And I got them improving to 3-1. and one. West Virginia here on September the 30th coming up next. This is a West Virginia team that has a lot of question marks. I really don't expect them to be all that good this year. It's really hard to tell if they're going to be able to make it to a bowl game just yet. I haven't really studied their roster just yet either. So it's going to take a while before we do West Virginia's prediction. But this is a home game for TCU. Obviously, I think TCU will win this one. Not by a lot. I think it will be probably about a couple scores, maybe about a touchdown perhaps. But I got TCU beating West Virginia here. Iowa State on the road next here on October 7th. Not an easy game here for TCU. I know Iowa State was pretty terrible last year, but that was a young team. That was a really young team. This team has a lot of production coming back, and they do return those players from last year that were pretty young that got some experience, and now they're heading in 2023 with that experience that they had from last year. And this is an Iowa State team I think people are kind of sleeping on. I think this is kind of like a dark horse contender, but it's hard to tell how they're how good they're going to be. But this is a 50-50 game for me. With that being said, I think Iowa State knocks off TCU here. So that's one of those road games where it's kind of like an upset alert type game. And with that being said, I think the Cyclones do pull off a huge win here against TCU. It's just honestly a 50-50 game for me. BYU coming up next here on October the 14th. Home game here for TCU. Uh, BYU is a team that, you know, definitely loses a lot of production. This team wasn't as good as we think they were going to be last year, but maybe they are competitive against this TCU team because this is honestly a 50-50 game for me. And with that being a 50-50 game, I think TCU does survive a pretty close one here against um, the um, Cougars of BYU. 
and I think TCU improves to 5-2 and two with a win over BYU. Then it's Kansas State on the road, um, a rematch from last year's Big 12 championship. Uh, last year, TCU defeated them in the regular season, but then um, they beat them on the um, – actually, they got beat by Kansas State in a close Big 12 championship game. This Kansas State team should be pretty good this year. I'm not expecting them to be like a 10-win team perhaps, maybe an 8- or 9-win team. I think this is kind of like a dark horse contender heading into this year. The offense, though, returns a lot of production. Uh, defensively, they do have some question marks there, but this is a road game here for TCU, tough environment to play in. Obviously a 50-50 game for me. I'm going to go with the Wildcats here, though. I like Kansas State here in this one. So I got TCU losing their third game of the season, and they get a bye week after that Kansas State game. They'll play Texas Tech here on um, a Thursday night, I believe, here on the road at Texas Tech. Um, this is a pretty interesting um, road game here on a weekday here on a Thursday night. Uh, Texas Tech's going to be a pretty good team. This is de definitely a top 25 team in my opinion. Uh, Texas Tech really finished strong last year, and I kind of expect them to really be a, a really strong team this season. I don't think they're like quite there on the level of all those teams in the Big 12 just yet. It's going to be really taking them some time with recruiting, but... You know, this is a road game and obviously a tough game to call for me. And with that being said here, I'm going to go with the Red Raiders here. So I got TCU losing back-to-back -back road games here with Kansas State and Texas Tech. Those are obviously some tough games to call, though. But I like, um, I like um, you know, Kansas State and Texas Tech in both of those road games. Then they play Texas after that on November the 11th. This is honestly going to be an interesting game. Uh, Texas... A lot of production coming back on the offensive side of the football. Definitely with Quinn Ewers back at quarterback. Uh, defensively, Texas should be strong as well. TCU defeated Texas last year on the road, and you never know. Texas could probably choke by this time. I think this is one of those upset alert type games as well. I think it's going to be a pretty interesting battle, back and forth contest, maybe a low scoring type game. And with that being said, this game is in the month of November, and upsets usually happen. And I think TCU will be ready for this game. They're coming off back-to-back -back road losses to Kansas State and Texas Tech. And with that being said, I think TCU knocks off Texas here on November the 11th. I don't think fans will agree with that game, but I think this is just one of those upset alert type games. And by the way, TCU's offense should be better by this time. They probably will get their quarterback really comfortable uh, by the time this game rolls around. Uh, Baylor's up next here on November 18th. This is a big game here, a rival game. You never know what can happen. Uh, Baylor's a team that almost knocked off TCU last year. It was a game-winning field goal that ended it. And this is going to be a back-and-forth game. Baylor should be a pretty good team this year, maybe a dark horse contender in the Big 12. We don't know how good they're going to be. They weren't really that good last year. They were up and down. Yes, they made it to a bowl game, but this is a team that was just really up and down last year. This is a home game for TCU, and with that being said, I think it's a close game. At the end of the day, home foot advantage does play the Horned Frogs, and that being said, I think TCU does win here against the Bears of Baylor. And I got TCU improving to 7-4. and four. Then they'll play Oklahoma here on the road to end things out. This game is on a Friday, I believe, on November 24th. Oklahoma is going to be a better team this upcoming season. They do got some transfers to help them out. Uh, Dylan Gabriel coming back at quarterback should be really huge for the Sooners. And I kind of expect Oklahoma to be up there at the top of the Big 12, maybe besides Texas as well. I think Oklahoma is just going to be that really good team once again and also that good program like they used to be in the Big 12. But this is their last time going up against Oklahoma in the Big 12. And then obviously Texas is on there as well to be their last game of the Big 12. So, But this is a road game. I really don't expect this game to be all that close perhaps, but maybe TCU can keep it competitive for a while. But at the end of the day, I think Oklahoma is just way too talented. And I think TCU loses that game on the road at Oklahoma. So I got TCU finishing uh, 2023 with a record of 7-5. and five. And if you think about it, last year this was my prediction for TCU. I had them going 7-5, and five, but they really proved me wrong. Maybe TCU is another surprise team. You never know, but I think this team is going to take a step back um, this upcoming season. They do have a pretty tough schedule anyway. Uh, look at those road games. you got Iowa State on the road, Kansas State on the road, Texas Tech on the road, and then Oklahoma on the road. So those are really tough road games there for TCU. Houston's not a tough place to play, but I think TCU will be ready for that one. That's a game they can probably win. I could see this team going 8-4, and four, maybe 9-3 and three perhaps. So, But that's my prediction for TCU is 7-5 for 2023. Let me guys know what you think about this TCU team. What do you think their record is in 2023? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.